A very good morning to you. Sincere apologies for starting the show behind shadow. But we are here. This is Audios of Carlos Speaks. This is a simulcast of Flow 94.9 FM, ABN Online, Radio and Television, Vision Africa 104.1 FM in Omaha, as well as Real 99.1 FM, Abba. My name is Ginika Oluwaha. The spokesperson to Dr. Joseph Carl is well seated here, Honorable Mad Kukuru. Honorable, you are late, but good morning and welcome to the good show. Good morning, Geneka. You know, uh, I'm trying to follow the safetyness and then the directive of Fabia State Government, mm-hmm. trying to get myself together, making sure that last week I had a problem coming down here. So I want to make sure that I am alive and that uh, the people that love me and love my senator are alive. So Obviously, I, I, I have to do this is not time for coffee. So why? No, but uh, I, you have to be very prepared in whatever okay. you're doing. It's you okay. know, you, you have never been a Boy Scout. Mm-mm. Neither were you a BB boy. I was a Boy Scout and a BB. I will always be prepared. Okay. Let's go now. I am ready. <laughs> Okay, now, Honorable, let's start uh, with the calls for your principal, Dr. Jesus Okala, to contest for presidency in 2023. That call is still on. Just recently, uh, a former local government uh, chairman, uh, Sam Ekeledo, actually joined his voice to that of others calling for uh, Dr. Jesus Okala to actually contest for office of the president in 2023. I don't know what actually necessitated that, but what's your take on that? Well, uh, I, I believe, and I know, that Nigerians love Oji Ozo Kalo. And I also know that uh, Sam Mekeledo, Reverend Sam Mekeledo, my very good friend and my frat brother, uh, has spoken very well. He's a very brilliant man who was a former local government chairman, also uh, had his way. Oji Ozo Kalo made it possible, had his way at the uh, uh, Abia Line. Mm. He did well. What he did when he was in Abia Line, he, he, he brought to bear what we call the energy flowing skill on motor vehicles. In other words, those whenever you are driving and you see fume coming out from vehicles, mm. you know, it's not fair for you and I, for us to breathe that uh, uh, carbon dioxide. Mm. Ekeledo, when he was there, stopped that. And he brought some equipment from the United States of America where if your vehicle fails that test, it cannot be applied on on our on our roots, but you know that that is one of the reasons when I talk about Oji Ozokalo and people that he empowered, people that he put to power, that really worked so hard. Ekeledo is one of them. He's a positive thinking fellow. Now, in his statement, yes, as a Nigerian, he has a, he has the right to 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 express his feelings, and the right of Ekeledo speaking his mindset is also the right of uh, Shetima Yirima to speak his mind. It's also the right of uh, Ayodele uh, Adeleke to speak his mind. It's also the right of uh, Eti Modok to speak his mind. And when I say that, because Oji Ozokalo is well known all over Federal Republic of Nigeria, I am not going to comment on that. What I will say is that people that love Oji Ozokalo need to know that Oji Ozokalo does not speak only as Oji Ozokalo, neither does he speak because he's an Igbo man. Neither does he speak because he is a Nigerian. But Oji Zokalo speaks as a human being that believes in humanity, that believes in selfless service to humanity. This is a man that is well respected in China, well respected in Venezuela, well respected in the United States of America, well respected in the United Kingdom, well respected even in, in uh, Soviet republics. And what else can you ask? You only pray that God will be able to give you in your neighborhood, even in your motherhood and fatherhood, somebody like Oji Ozokalo to say, thank God Almighty that I have a brother, I have a father, I have an uncle, I have a friend like Oji Ozokalo. So Ekelido spoke very well. And the, the, when the time comes, we implore and we pray that all the Igbos will come out as Nigerian to say, I am qualified, I am eligible. I am eminent and I am ready to serve my country 
Federal Republic of Nigeria. But the last time we spoke to the distinguished senator, he never accepted to run for the office of the president. He said no. His, uh, no, I his, man his mandate first yes. is to go back to the Senate. Yes. But if given the opportunity, he, he will not... Uh, We're not talking about acceptance here. He said he wasn't going to dwell on that. That his immediate responsibility is to take care of his uh, immediate constituency and to support President Muhammadu okay, Chuku Buhari, to finish his term. That is what occupies Oji Zokalo's mind today. And that is why Oji Zokalo is working. No senator has ever done what Oji Zokalo is doing for Nde Abiyamot. And that is why when I walk on the streets of Omaha, anywhere I go, people say, is that Maduko Okoro? Do you know Oji Zokalo? We pray in all honesty that Oji Ozokalo will become our own senator, will become our own president. That's people speaking because the man was good and the man is still good and the man will always be good. That is Oji Ozokalo. Okay, a few days ago, Senator Kalo actually celebrated uh, his wife's uh, birthday. That's uh, if Nanya Oji Ozokalo, that, that's her name. And he, he actually described her as his pillar yes yes you see it is it, 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 it is something what you just said now is touching i want to say this to every other young man alive when you get your own wife not your wife but your friend like i, I always look at my wife i call her my best friend marriage is not easy but when you get somebody that is going to be behind you somebody that is going to be by your side somebody that is going to love you somebody that is going to always look at your face somebody that is always going to touch you and say i love you i will always be there for you that is your wife it's not easy what i'm saying i'm not a counselor when it comes to uh, marriage but I'm somebody that experienced it for more than 10 years. Marriage is not easy. For Oji Ozokalo to have Her Excellency Lady Ifunanya Ozokalo being there. You, you have never seen her, Genika, but no. I think you have opportunity to see her. Just like before my, my Oga uh, returned, I told you you are going to meet him. It would be a great honor to meet somebody like Oji Ozokalo and then to see the wife. She is a pillar. She is a soccer. She is somebody that made Oju Zokalo to be that enigma. When you meet her, you know that you have met a woman. And people, even so many descriptions on if Fananya, Lady Fananya, he said, it's very touching. And I always look at my wife and I say, when my boss speaks, I want to emulate my boss. When it comes to looking at my wife and say, baby, I love you. And I will continue to love you. Every man needs to look at your household. Marry a wife. Marry your own wife. Don't marry a wife. Marry your own wife. Because there is a difference between my wife and a wife. Pray to God to give you somebody that will be, be behind you and beside you and before you in anything you are doing. Women, women are the best creature that God has ever given to us. And that is why before the demise of my mother, she always told me, Madoka, and my, my wife is was uh, named Nkechinyene. Nkechinyene. And Efunanya Uzokalo Nkechinyene Oji Uzokalo. God gave it to give her to Oji Uzokalo. And uh, that is what I talk about womanhood. And that's why I talk about Oji Uzokalo as an uh, an enigma. And Oji Uzokalo is a shining example. Takes care of the woman. And when you meet that woman, you know that women are beautiful. When you meet her, you know that women are creatures of God. Okay. Now, uh, in 1999, when your principal actually emerged as the governor of Harvey State, he was just 39 years. 39. And obviously, a yes. youth at the time. Now, when you look at all the things that are happening right now in the state, in the country, the state, everywhere, everybody is now talking about youth inclusiveness in governance. 
and up to this moment, many people are expecting your principal to take a position on that uh, uh, position, or take his own position on that matter. Yes. So I, I don't know if uh, your your reaction will be the same line. No, it's not my reaction. Thought. The reaction of the distinguished senator, Oji Ozokalo, his reaction has always been to stand by the youth. And Oji Ozokalo was the first preacher in Nigeria. When we talk about use and touching the lives of youth, Ojo Zokalo using his foundation, Ojo Zokalo using his own position as a governor in 1999, empowered youth. In who is a sitting legislator, a representative, a congresswoman in Nigeria today, was made by Ojo Zokalo. She was a she was a youth. Kiruka would say it. Opayav was a youth. Uh, Charles Obuna was a youth. Many youths that are today piloting the affairs of Oji Zokal, even the governor of Abia State today was a youth when Oji empowered him. Even the deputy governor was a youth. Everybody that has been what he or she is today was empowered by Oji Zokal. Oji Zokal, is a preacher of youth being in power most of the permanent secretaries were youth made by oji ozokalo that is why when i speak about oji ozokalo i speak to passion i speak because i know the man that i served when i came back from the united states of america he gave me my first political appointment that i'm speaking today i speak what i know everybody not everybody let me let me correct myself most folks in Abia state government today, they were youth made by Oji Ozokalo. So, what are we talking about today? Oji Ozokalo using Oji Ozokalo Foundation empowering youth. Today, as I'm speaking, we have employed more than 30 youths working in various capacities in federal establishments. More than 30. Even last week, we gave five people jobs. In uh, Nam Dazikiwe University, yeah, yeah, we don't make noise. Also, Carlo have made people that have been heads of establishments. If I call the established establishment today, people will baffle. People say, "Wow, chai, you are Lord Jiji." Also, Carlo Nasiali Bo, a guru la ndo torobi. Meba wanka wakusirino. Odu ene chesando torobi. Also, Carlo. Today, today, whether you are from Abia or not, you are not from Abia or not, Ojo Kalo is still empowering. We are doing that. I'm going to read out the names next week. More than 30 people. Ojo Kalo is still empowering. Mandai Tiri Mary Professor. Mandai Mary VC. Mandai Kakajime. Ojo is a human capacity builder. And all you have to me, if all the legislators in Nigeria, can do what Oji Zakal is doing. Oji Zakal can run by Oruka Orula one year, okay, Rude one year, more two years as a senator. He had a main human. Before he became a senator, Oji Zakal was empowering people. Many like Oji Ono. Most of them na me wa bala radio wa na Oji Oji Oji. Today I ain't la wa Ono. Na kwa ba efwa wa la bala. And that is the way Nigeria need to be. That somebody calls you, calls you in a negative instance. No, 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 no. Obo Obiam. Obiam. Opa. Nenye madun sobo. Bahara. And that is what Jesus Okalo always preaching for forgiveness. And we have empowered people that never believed in Oji. We have empowered people that never knew Oji Okalo. And we are still going to empower people that never know. And never will know Oji Okalo. For instance, a medical doctor. It's a shining example. A woman that never met Oji Zokalo until last two months. She had a problem in, 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 a, in a university. Oji said, no, don't bother yourself. Oji never met her. And she studied medicine. She is a registered medical doctor today. Curing people. Giving people medication free of charge today. Okamitri Oji. Last two years after after her teenage years, oh, can you listen? After her teenage years, I want 
the listeners to know after teenage years here she never made Dr. Dr. Chilike, you Dr. Mean. Chilike, she would married, the married person. children good husband good family Never met Oji. Say, what will I give to Oji Zokalo? Even she tried to equate Oji with Jesus Christ. I said, no, you can't do that. Jesus Christ, my master, my Lord and Savior. When he walked on the earth, somebody came to Jesus and said, Lord, Lord, Lord. They never allowed her to meet Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But when he told the garment, just garment of Jesus, she was healed. Today, we are replicating that. China Cabinet League uses human beings to touch the lives of people. Okay. And God is going to use Oji to touch the lives of people. That's why we all keep saying, keep hope alive. Okay, uh, Honorable, many people are still asking, yes. when will you get to their turn to have that empowerment? You did in Umunnochi and the Sukwato. You know, you talked about it the last time. Uh, you have like three local governments left. Yes. That is uh, Ben, the Arochuku and Ohafia in Abia North. Yes. So, those people from that area are still asking, when will it be their turn? From those areas? Yes. You're talking about, you talk about three local governments. Three local We government. will touch them, Gineka. We are going to touch them. My boss is coming back. Uh, very soon, you'll be in, in Abia, not. And what we are going to do in Abia, not. Personally, Oji Ozokalo, the distinguished senator, the former executive governor of Abia State, is going to wear his jeans. And we are going to tour the five local governments to make sure those projects that I've been speaking about on air, I realize. Because a lot of communities, they are going to be dancing and beating their gongs and bringing out their drums for Ojis or Carlo because by Christmas, their roots will be pliable. Nobody, nobody, I challenge any senator, living or demise, have done what Ojis or Carlo is doing within one year. Within one year, Afia cannot talk again. Item cannot make any noise. Ozitem. We've even added in my own community Ozitem. I'm from Ozitem. I didn't ask my, my boss to touch Ozitem. Ozawa. We're talking about also, we're not talking about touching the lives of people, making them to chop. Mm. To chop. When we had calamity in Nkoro, 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 can attest. We gave them palliatives. Mkoro was devastated by natural disaster. But the first person that went to Mkoro was Oji Zokal. Mkoro, the, the, the deputy governor is from there, a good man, my, my friend. But what I'm trying to say, politics in Nigeria, Oji Zokal is changing the narrative of Nigerian politics. And the people of Itumbuzo also. Yes, Itumbuzo. We are eight kilometers. Oh, Itumbuzo people will not believe what we are doing. Eight kilometer road, we are starting we are starting any moment from now. We, are, we, we have done that. The calculation has been done. We are waiting for the contractors to arrive. The 500 km, uh, uh, KVA from the Itumbuzo is there. I spoke with Vincent Okoro yesterday from Okoroni. I told him, relax. He was posting things on a platform about Okoroni. Forgotten people I said, no, you are not forgotten. All Jews of Carlo will touch. Every community in Abia North within four years. I stand here to tell you that Abia North is going to be a change area. Abia North is going to be the head radio. If you want to come to Abia North, relax. You don't need to apply. You will come because we are working. Oji Ozokalo is going to touch the lives of every community in Abia North. And today, as I'm sitting, item, item, Opi. Never believed that what we are going, what we did in Apango. They never believe Apango. Apango with him. Okay. Uh, you, 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 I, I mentioned. Yeah, I, I wish I'm going to blow this thing up on video because I know a lot of folks are watching on uh, 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 YouTube. on YouTube. Now I know a lot of you listening on uh, Vision Africa and listening on uh, uh, Real, FM. Real FM, and then listen also on ABN. Radio TV. You are going to see the road. I'm going to ask ABN to post the roads. Whatever Maduko Koro is saying here, as all these Carlos spokesperson, is the truth. And I can never come to this program telling anything that is otherwise about the people. Because the people are all just Okalo, And all just Okalo is the people. Okay, if you're just joining, this is 
Dr. Audrey Zokalo speaks. It's a simulcast on Flow 94.9 FM, ABN Online Radio and Television, Vision Africa 104.1 FM in Umwa, as well as Real 99.1 FM. Abba. We'll take a breather, Honorable. When we come back, we'll welcome uh, Dr. Achilike. She is also standing by to join us on the program. And she will be talking to us on the first line of management of diabetes via diet guide. Please do stay with us. At Flow 94.9 FM, we've got conducive and well-secured environment for business. High-tech video studio, a state-of-the-art production studio. You can also listen live on www.flow949fm.com and watch our videos on YouTube at Flow FM TV. Flow 94.9 FM, not just radio, but a complete broadcasting house. All right, welcome back to the show. It's still Dr. Jose Carlo speaks. And don't forget, it is a simulcast on Flow 94.9 FM in Umwa here, ABN Online Radio and Television, Vision Africa 104.1 FM, and Real 99.1 FM. Honorable, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Guinea Kaolo. Yes, uh, I actually want you to lead us into those projects, especially the ones that uh, you have in our half here. What's the situation of that project? Okay. The Ahafia uh, people, Ahafia Mamanwo, Ahafia Udmeze Mamanwo, uh, Oji Abelan Kunu, was so bunu, Yabunu, Dima, Nde Abia, Akanu Road, Mala Christmas, Arabo, a Christmas in Koma, Una Pasam Gungo, Lina, Yoma Berluno. Uh, the road construction in Guinea, uh, I want the people listening through Flow FM. Uh, listening through Vision Africa and Real FM and Abia Breaking News. I want people to know that the road construction is in progress. Now we are filling uh, the road with uh, 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 laterite. It's ongoing right now. And we have done 60% of the laterite. So, Nde uh, Abia, Road Unu Adlamma, Unugare Eme Jolly Jolly. The habilitation of Asaga Okon work is in progress. What we have done, we have achieved 67 percent of the total job in progress. Asphalt work commenced yesterday. Asphalt that's Asaga Asaga Okon Road. Uh, then the drainage works is up to 3,900 meters covered and still in progress. That's for Ishugu now. We have left uh, Asaga Ishugu. Then there is uh, what we call the express concern. Limited is a company. Okay. So I want people to know anything we're doing is transparent. Go and interview them. We call it the people's project. They are working with the community. In synergy with the root crop research institute, Umudike, Umaya, as an agency. Uh they are going to inspect LL Road. That LL Road in Olibere. What we are doing in Ibere, soon as you enter Ibere from Mdesi uh, Aba. Eat him that was and you are going to Arochuku. You don't need to go straight again. You cut your road short to hit or half year. Just and in, get into Ibere. Eloro, Eloro, Eloro. Soon as you get into Ibere, they hit your left. Soon as you hit your left, that Elele road get a Vrugo and take you into or half year. That that is what we are doing. Uh, I, 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 I've been speaking with uh, my very good friend, uh, Barrister Mbila Oma Aye. Is the legislative aid to the government okay. always on site? This is the first time any legislator has ever told the people what will happen. Before you hear that uh, your road has been done, your road has been done. Drama, we are not doing drama. Instead of drama, ragama. So you see the project life. That is what we are doing. Uh, that's why when I call Barista Mbila, I say, Are you on the site? He will tell me he's on the site. Because Ojuz Okalo is working. Abia North is in siege. Abia North is in siege. We are doing what we call total war. What they are doing, the, any other war, is different from the war we are doing in Abia North. We are doing war against undevelopment. We are doing war against underdevelopment. Ojuz Okalo say enough is enough. That is why he's a senator. And that is what any legislator needs to do. Okay. We are working. And then when you look at the rehabilitation of Asaga, Nasaga Unugesienchi, the rehabilitation of Asaga Road from Ebe Mohafia to Amo Mohafia eh, is 
the first phase in the next two weeks. Aya Baila, Aya Baila, Nkanako, Asaga, Asaga, Maman, Aya Baila, Asaga, in the next two weeks. I now conclude with him about Asaga. And then, Nde Afia, I finish you. It emok me. Nkunu, Una Hilo, it emdrepa, Obojus or Kalo, Abreba, Una Hilo, Nemporo, Abrojus or Kalo, Ozit, Ojus or Kalo, Iber, Ojus or Kalo. Umunoch, Ojus or Kalo, Isquato, Kaganekasa, Ojus or Kalo, all in Yamaga. Then, 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 we have your problem, pa, pa, very. Uh, we are going to touch you people. Everything, take your time. Okay, Mpa has a problem, very serious problem. Then, Okoreni, I acquire I go to school, Okoreni, which you know, we, we are rehabilitating uh, schools that have been very depleted. We are going to touch the last but, but, people. But the major problem there is road. Is road. I mean in Okoreni. Yes, major problem of anybody's road. We are, you have had legislators there. What we are saying is that Okoreni, what Nenu KJ started I didn't finish. Who will finish it? Okay. And I have spoken with the President General. I said, bring me your problems. Also, Carlo is a problem solver. We are going to do those things, Geneka. I know that uh, uh, we can solve the problems of Nde Abiyanot in one year. The man just stepped in okay. within one year. So uh, a lot of things are coming. Okay, I think uh, it is time for us to now uh, call in uh, the Dr. Achilike of uh, Gerard Achilike Foundation. Of course, you know they are working in tandem with uh, Dr. Ojo Zokalo Foundation. And Dr. Onyekache Achilike is on the line. Good morning, Doctor, and welcome. Good morning, Mr. Kedeka. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Good morning, Honorable Maduka. Good morning, Doki. Okay, Doc. Yes, I, I actually understand that uh, you are going to tell us the first line of management of diabetes via diet guide. Can you lead us into that particular topic? Good morning to the good people of Madia State. The hmm. Muslim brethren listening to this program, I greet. Salam alaikum. Alaikum As salam. On behalf of Dr. Ajus Okalu Foundation, in collaboration with Gerard, Slicker Healthcare Foundation, hmm. I, Dr. Onyekachi Achilike, Wish to enlighten you on the first line of management of diabetes. Last time on this program, I gave an advice on how to go about checking your blood glucose level. Today, the advice is that no matter the level of the glucose in your blood, consult a medical doctor. A medical doctor commences management of diabetes by giving you a diet guide. Diet guide does not mean do not eat gari, do not eat fufu, do not eat yam, as the case may be. A good diet guide tells you the quantity of these food items to eat and the time of the day to eat them. For two reasons. Number one, you are not supposed to deprive the brain of glucose completely because glucose plays an important role in the body. And if the brain is deprived of glucose for a few minutes, complications too numerous to mention here will arise. Secondly, Studies have shown that a lot of people that suffer from diabetes do not die because of high glucose level. Rather, they die because of low glucose level. That is what leads them to hypoglycemic coma. Fortunately, Dr. Ajiz Okalo Foundation, in collaboration with Gerard Atlika Healthcare Foundation, has a good diet control that has been helping our people to manage their diabetes without being on medication. So when you call, and give us your WhatsApp number. We forward this diet guide to you. Thank you very much. Okay, but uh, Doc, uh, one will actually want to know just a few of those diets that one can take, uh, depending when actually they get across to you for you to forward the whole diet to them. We have a compiled list. We have a comprehensive list of about two pages. Okay. This comprehensive list tells you what you eat during breakfast, what you eat, eat at midday, what you eat during lunch okay. and what you eat during supper. Okay. So when you follow it the way it is, you will find your sugar level coming down very well. So how we do it is this, you alternate it. When the sugar level becomes uh, regulated, you now alternate the diet diet. One week you can eat whatever you like, the way you like it. The next week you bring out this diet guide, follow it and crush the sugar level. 
Okay. So that you will not feel cheated that you are making money and you are not enjoying your money. Okay. Doc, uh, kindly uh, also give us your number uh, so that people can actually get across to you. Your WhatsApp zero number. 0803. 0803. Okay. 6707. 369. Again, please. 0803. 6707. 369. Okay. So that's the WhatsApp number they can actually get you on. Yes, yes. Anybody that comes on this line will get me. Okay, Doc, uh, the last time we, we actually spoke on this program, you, we talked about uh, the man that needed a wheelchair. I don't know if you've gotten across to the man. Yes, I've gotten uh, across to the man, and two other people requested for wheelchair, making mm. the number three. Yes, the sir. one we have one is that when the country becomes more peaceful, mm. I want to come personally to Omaha okay. and hand over the wheelchair to them. Yes, so Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Achilike of Gerard Achilike Foundation for joining us on the show today. Thank you, Mr. Ginika. All right. Okay, Honorable, yes. you heard him. Yes, uh, heard that, 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 is, that is why I want to let people know we cut across the boundary of Abia State. This medical doctor resides in uh, Paracord. And we're extending this thing beyond states. A lot of states that are closer to us. And I thank you, Dr. Uh, Achilike, for what you are doing. And I thank you for recognizing Ojus Okalo Foundation, for recognizing Ojus Okalo as a person. And we always pray to have people like Oji Ozokalo. And that is what life is all about. It's very touching. Mm -hmm. And I'm my, even oh, my, the distinguished senator does not even know these things that are happening, which I'm going to give him the filler. Okay. He doesn't know. All Jesus Okalo gives, he doesn't look back at what he has done. A lot of people that Roger Okalo has made, Roger Okalo, the only thing that I know about my boss is that he, when you meet him for the first time, when he sees you after that first time, he will recognize you by your name. And that is the, a shocker that many people don't believe. Okay, the show is called Dr. Ojus Okalo, and uh, it is a simulcast on uh, Flow 94.9 FM, ABN Online Radio and Television, Vision Africa 104.1 FM in Omaha, as well as Real 99.1 FM. It is time for us to open the phone lines so that our listeners can make their con own contribution on the program. The number is to call at 080-8182-6949. I take that again, 080 8182-6949 or 0811-605-2949. You can as well send your SMS on 090-651-08289. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Nico, I'm an informatica. Mm-hmm. Ne <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for calling. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is this is Miriam. Miriam. Oh my. Okay. Go ahead. Um yes. I'm really happy for what the, um, our former governor what is the car is doing. I can remember when I was six, nine years, eight years when he was the governor. Chai. I can still remember all the things he did. Chai. Then my siblings, while they're going to school, they enter the free ball. Chai. He really did well. And we are still happy with him. God, bless you. God thank bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right, thank you so much. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. 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 Good yeah, morning. my name is Judy. Uh, I'm calling from Ohio. Welcome, UD. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, I uh, recognize Roger Zokala as my boss, too. What he is doing to Ohio is very nice. But I'm using this to say that I appreciate him feeding for our cemetery seats. And before the people will decide not to go for presidency, he will first 
But uh, if for him to be that celebrity, I'm so covered by myself alone. And what is in to our happy hands, we are happy. We are protected. Even okay. till tomorrow. Okay, but have you seen the road he's doing in Ohafia? Yes, yes, I have seen it, I have seen it. Okay. I have seen it, I have seen everything. And another thing, those who rode in at the saga, the people have seen it, they are something they do like jump and pass. They will tie somewhere, they will jump the other side. Let them do it slightly because the man is able to do everything. But sometimes people give him the job, we do whatever they like to do. So okay. let them go back. From the junction of Saga to the end, there are some places they jump and to go and do the other side of okay. it. Okay, right. thank, thank you. you. They are having a problem. Yeah. This is a very uh, good yes, report you're giving me. Mtoro, ubu e kwa bara. Onya akparono. Mtoro, te kwa kwa flua again. Abro Vision Africa, mabo. Oyebin amam keno kabli no kwa radio station na ekoro bua. Kwa nye gine kama mabo Vision Africa number ge wa ge richi to me. Kai kwa rem kwa huwa jump wa tamga hia enola inya be very good information inye nam chine ke gazi yegi. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Hello. 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 Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. What's your name? Yeah, my dear. My name is. My name is Tony Ekotagora. I'm calling from. Isn't it? Is it? In Imo State. Welcome. Go ahead. Yeah, my. Uh, good morning, uh, 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 um, Honorable Marokoko. Good morning, Buruburu. Uh, Buruburu, God bless you. That's Buruburu. Um, in fact, uh, I've been listening to this program, and today is a beautiful day for me to be around and listen to you again. The area I'm going to mention is that the issue of presidency is located to Ndibo by the grace of God and is our man, Son Ojo Zokalo. Ayaga Jeba, only one is the Liakoya, but if you get any less to it, you wish to make a land of 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 all the protests and tell me for the protests here yeah, in the name of anything. As long as you want you go, I'm a yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you raise your kids? You can keep your boobo in the moon. You can raise your kids. 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 Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's go to the SMS line. Uh, this one says, "Good morning, sir Maduka. I'm Juliet from Ubibia in Bende, Algeria. Please, I remember Ubibia Road. The community has been neglected for a long time. Please remember us, Ubibia in Bende." Ubibia, no Ubibia. I muma unu muma dobo yai na kwa dobo barrel. Unu muma Oyuke. Unu muma Benjamin Carlo. Unu kwa boye. Onye bokwa no la House of Assembly. Kama yem ka se bo unu go sa problem unu ndo bebe amam oboko ba ihe obula unu vulobu unu go se ai na kwata. But I want to use this opportunity to uh, give the idea of Mawudu message from my boss the principal the destabilized Nigerian. Uh, Senator Oji Ozokalo want to use this opportunity to wish the Hausa community, a peaceful, joyful, addressed Idel Mawood. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah. I be a witness. There is no God but Allah. And I be a witness that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger sent by Allah Himself. And as we walk together, we walk for a better Nigeria. As we walk together. We work for the unity of Nigeria. As we work together, we work for the peace, for the mutual respect. We work for hard work and industry. We work for patriotism. We work for equity and justice in Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is the message from His Excellency, distinguished Senator Oji Ozokalo. He wishes you guys a peaceful Idel Maud. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Okay. As we say to you, 
is going to be very peaceful. Nigeria is going to be a better place. And I also want to thank the delegation of Niger Delta people that came to visit the Oji Ozokalo Foundation. This Niger Delta force is a good omen for us. It is what we call the umbrella of Niger Delta states. And as they have collapsed their organization okay. to join Oji Ozokalo movement, I want to thank you all. I want to thank all other organizations that believe in the unity of Nigeria. I want to thank all other organizations that believe that Nigeria is one entity, undivided and resolute to become detribalized. The spirit of Oji Ozokalo and his philosophy of Oyukeism which borders on selfless service to humanity irrespective of class creed of tribe today oji ozokalo stands as a human being not as an Igbo man not as a nigerian not even as an african but as a nigerian a human being to say god created us to become one god created us to achieve our selfless purpose for the betterment of humanity, the world must be a better place. That is the ethos of Oji Ozo Kalo. And today is a good day. After the pandemic, then we had our own protest. Ozo Kalo is a leader of youth. Ozo Kalo is a believer in one Nigeria. The youth, Oji Ozo Kalo is behind you. Whatever we are going to do, we have to do with purpose. Okay. Whatever we're going to do, Nigeria must hear the youth. And that is the ethos of Oji Uzokalo, the distinguished senator. The day Oji Uzokalo took oath to become a senator, not a senator of APC, not a senator of PDP, not a senator of any political party, but a senator of Federal Republic of Nigeria. The man that is changing the narrative that governance is all about collective entity. The man that is changing the narrative in Abia State that whether you are Ikbazo, whether you are Benjamin Kahlo, whether you are Uchoga, whether you are Onyeji Ocha, whether you are Mwampa, whether you are Benedict Gusin, whatever you are, you are Abians. And Abia must change. We go to work together to build an Abia that will be for the betterment of the people. We are going to work together to make sure development comes to every nook and cranny of Fabia State. We are going to work together to make sure that salaries are being paid to pensioners. Those people that gave their lives when Oji Zokalo was a governor, he never owed anybody. And that is why God cannot owe Oji Zokalo. God must continue to bless Oji Zokalo. When Oji Zokalo was a governor, Oji Zokalo touched the lives of people. And that is why today, Oji Zokalo can walk the streets of Omaya, the streets of Ahafia, the streets of Aba. And people will help him. What is Oji Ozokalo and who is Oji Ozokalo? Okay. God has ordained him to touch the lives of people. Geneka, mm -hmm. God is great. Oji Ozokalo, God has never finished using him. That is why he does not have any grievance against anybody. He said, Forgive and you'll be forgiven. All right. Let go and God will let go. And that is today the preaching of Oji Ozokalo. And that is the philosophy. After Socrates, after Aristotle, after Confucius, after Karl Marx, after Margaret Thatcher, after Ronald Reagan, after John F. Kennedy, you have Oji Zokalo in the philosophy of Oyukeism. And that is what I will expand tomorrow. That's why I expand next year and next tomorrow. The next week in this program, I'm going to break down what Oyukeism is all about. And I want to use this opportunity to thank Oji Zokalo Friends International those men and women that have come together to believe in Ojo Akalo, asking themselves not what Ojo Akalo will do for me, but what I will do for Ojo Akalo. Today they are holding their meeting okay. at Evermore, Evermore uh, 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 Entertainment Center, Evermore okay. Resort. They are holding a meeting right. by 12 noon. Today they are coming and every member of Oji Ozokalo Friends International, you are invited, especially the directors of Ozokalo Friends International in the 17 local governments and in the senatorial zones, they are going to be there. I want to thank IK 
or the man, whatever the man that is hosting the meeting today, Geneka, I'm inviting you specially right. to you come so and be with us. Thank, thank God for Abia State. Thank God for Federal Bureau of right. Nigeria. And thank, thank God for Oji Ozo. Carlo. And thank, thank you, you the great orator, uh, Honorable Maduko Koro, for coming you. on the show. And uh, as I say, thanks to our partner on radio station and uh, other media outlets. That's uh, ABN Online Radio and Television, Vision Africa 104.1 FM in Omohe and Real 99.1 FM in Aba. My name is Ginika Olua. Until next week, please do stay out of trouble so that we can do this show again. Good morning.